Hey there, I'm Mario. If you're wondering what is web hosting, then this video is for you. Besides explaining the very basics of what it is and how it works, I'll get into what makes a good hosting provider. So if you stick around to the end, you'll know everything you need to get started with hosting a website and maybe a little extra. Let's kick off this journey with the basics. What exactly is web hosting? To make hosting explained easy to understand, I think of it like renting space to open a shop. Just like a business needs a physical location to store products and welcome customers, your website needs a space to store its pages, images, and content so it's accessible to visitors online. You can rent this virtual space called a server from a hosting provider, similar to leasing a full managed ready to use shop. Another option is to host a website yourself on your own computer, which gives you full control, but requires significant technical expertise. It's like setting up a store in your own home, cost effective, but likely to come with a lot more hassle and potential issues. That's why most people choose to go with a hosting provider and for good reason. So let's focus on them. Now that we've got hosting explained, how do people actually find your website once it's hosted? Think of it like this. Just as visitors find a physical shop by looking up its address, online visitors access your website by entering its URL. Every website needs a unique address, known as a domain server, which directs them to its location on the web server. When someone types in your URL, their browser connects to a specific server, locates your website's file directory, and displays the content. But here's the catch. Browsers don't actually search for the URL itself. Instead, each domain name is paired with an IP address, a unique set of numbers that looks something like this. The IP address directs the browser to the right location. Let's be honest, saying, check out my site at cybernews.com is way easier than sharing a long string of numbers. So with web hosting, you're essentially renting space on a server where your website files are stored and your hosting provider ensures visitors can access it anytime. What's next? Deciding what kind of space you need to rent. In this case, the type of server. To keep things simple, let's start from the ground up. There are four main types of website hosting, shared hosting, VPS, which stands for virtual private server, dedicated hosting, and lastly, cloud hosting. Let's start with shared hosting. As the name suggests, it's like sharing a house, in this case, a server with other users. Each of you rents a room within the same space. Providers like Hostinger act as your landlord, taking care of maintenance, security, and upkeep while you use your portion of the server's resources. This setup is the most affordable and beginner-friendly type of hosting, making it ideal for small websites, blogs, and portfolios. With shared hosting, you don't need to worry about the technical side, so you can focus entirely on building and customizing your site. However, just like sharing a flat with roommates, sharing a server with other websites can cause some issues. One website can eat up more servers than others, and security risks are slightly higher due to the shared environment. As your project grows, you might consider upgrading to a virtual private server or a dedicated server. VPS hosting is like owning a flat in an apartment building. You have your own home for your website, but the building or server is still shared with others. A VPS splits a single server into multiple virtual sections, giving each user a private space with dedicated resources and more control. While it's pricier than shared hosting, VPS offers great flexibility and performance, making it ideal for larger blogs, business sites, forums, or small e-commerce stores. It's also often used not only for websites, but also for things like video game servers. Don't worry, you can manage your virtual server as you like, though you're still bound by the overall server structure. I've also mentioned dedicated hosting, which is like owning your own house. You get an entire server exclusively for your website with no sharing required. This setup allows you to maximize performance, customize configurations, and enhance security as much as you need. Naturally, dedicated hosting comes at a higher cost, making it best suited for high traffic websites, such as large e-commerce stores or news platforms. A newer option in the hosting world is cloud hosting. It's kind of similar to VPS or dedicated hosting, but instead of relying on a single physical server, cloud hosting uses a network of virtual and physical servers. This setup ensures that if any hardware fails, it can be quickly replaced by another server in the network, keeping your site up and running smoothly. All right, now that we've figured out web hosting types, we need to find the best web hosting provider. 
While there's no one answer for everyone, you can find out what hosting provider is best for your website needs. First, consider whether it's a small blog, an e-commerce store, or a larger business site. Different providers offer different features, such as storage space, bandwidth, and specific tools for managing your site. Another thing to keep in mind if you're a beginner in building your website is still in the plans, consider services that have well-functioning website builders too. It's also important to read or watch some reviews to get a grasp of the pros and cons of each provider. There are plenty of reliable hosting services out there, like Dreamhost and Bluehost, which are well regarded for their performance and customer support. Personally though, I'd recommend Hostinger. From my experience, it's the best all around hosting provider. It's affordable, user friendly, and great for beginners. The biggest upside is that it offers 100 websites with one subscription, even with their most affordable plan. Plus, if you need your website not only hosted, but also built, it doesn't get much easier than with Hostinger's Website Builder, which offers great AI functionality that will give you a nice head start. By the way, if you're interested in Hostinger or any of my other recommended hosting providers at a discounted price, you can find the links in the description. And if you wanna learn more about the best hosting options before making a decision, be sure to check out our channel. We've got plenty of reviews to help you make an informed choice. Web hosting is no longer just for users with vast technical knowledge. Hosting providers are making it as accessible as possible, which is great for their business. By now, you should understand what web hosting is, how it works, what to look for when choosing a hosting provider, and even how to host a website yourself. If you find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.